all right a oh, very good morning to everyone present here uh, i am kajal prohit from third year biotechnology department from satyabhama institute of science and technology on behalf of satyabhama institute of science and technology i extend a very warm welcome to each and every one of you present here today before getting started i'd like to thank our founder chancellor dr jj pr vice chancellor t sasi prabha pro vice chancellor dr wilson arani chancellor dr maria luna johnson president dr mary johnson director dr b sheila rani and registrar dr s s rao for giving us the opportunity to conduct this event i'd also like to thank dr ramesh kumar sir and narin kumar sir for being so supportive and dedicated now i'd like to introduce the organizers and volunteers of this event nandini sharma we have with us today Ms. Nandini Sharma today, who is a Chief Ex Technology Officer at Marabunu, she has worked on isolation and characterization of quorum quenching extremophiles and evaluation of chitosan nanoparticle synthesized from crab shells for delivery of poorly water soluble drug ibuprofen. She has also worked in field of biosciences and has. worked with several associations like biozone orchid pharma bcg vaccine laboratory at srm university we welcome you ma'am we also have with us doc mr kiran nived who is an officer at malari drugs and pharmaceuticals limited he studied in satyabhama institute of science and technology and completed his mtech in industrial biotechnology from bharat university he is a qualified internal auditor and has experience in auditing toxicology unit and clinical trial unit as per applicable glp and clinical research practices he also has experience in scale up, scaling up of fermentation batches he has publications in peer review journals like elsevier on nanobiotechnology mr kiran helps students to get internships in reputed companies we are glad to have you with us today sir we have with us mr himanshu choudhary today he finished his education from vellore institute of science and technology in mechanical engineering he is the co-founder of campus veda and is currently working as a supply chain mgt and sr operation executive at class clap private limited he manages the supply operations of palm india rights from quotations he also works on vendor management quality control and dashboards He has worked on several projects, including clinical path method of Indian Railways network and working model of hydraulic pipe bending machine. We are happy to have with you, have you with us today, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Kajal, for your kind words. So, yeah, without any further delay, like we can start. the webinar so um, hi everyone my name is himanshu and i am a co-founder of campus veda so today's topic is uh, what is the importance of uh, internships in biotechnology and we going to tell you little bit about uh, how to attend uh, college placements so these are the basic points uh, just take care of this basic points guys don't switch on your videos it will create unnecessarily load on network uh you can switch on your mic whenever you have doubt or you want to ask anything and you can ask any question feel free to ask any questions so yeah so uh, here and just go to next slide yeah and you will be getting the recorded session of this uh video of the uh the webinar and uh, let's make this session interactive like we want two way communication we want your present uh, presentation as well at the same time and in case of any doubt you can ping us later for anything so right away i'll just hand over the session to ms nandini uh, so she will be introducing about uh, the importance of biotechnology like internship and in biotechnology so nandini over to you you can start Uh, a very good morning to each one present here it's actually my pleasure to speak in front of you all uh, i will just give a brief introduction about myself uh, i'm a biotechnology graduate from srm institute of science and technology chennai and i was part of one of those lucky batches which actually graduated in during pandemic june 2020 
and i think even this batch is going to be one of those lucky batches so currently i am working in a pharmaceutical company at regulatory affairs department as a trainee and during the pandemic we have started uh, like our own startup named mara banu and i'm serving as a chief technical officer there so uh, well from the title of this webinar itself like you would have got the idea that today we'll be discussing about the importance of internships in the field of biotechnology so uh, the most important thing whether you are from biotechnology microbiology bioinformatics any life science background uh, you must understand that these courses are research oriented uh, like theory alone uh, cannot help you to actually get a good job as well as if you want to pursue your higher studies either in india as well as abroad so uh, basically what internships do is they provide you a valuable experience and expertise that can help you to secure your dream job most of the people want to work especially in uh, research and development that is r and d in biotechnology industries so whether like uh, it doesn't matter like there are a uh, few institutes or few uh, industries they provide you paid internships few uh, places they provide you unpaid internships so uh, it doesn't really matters to that level that whether it's paid or unpaid uh, internship always adds a value to your resume it uh, apart from that it will actually give you a practical approach towards a subject uh, usually uh, when i was in college as well uh, in my first year and second year i used to think that uh, when i'll be going for my internship they'll be just asking me to do like small jobs like you know preparing media or uh, just they'll just ask me to auto clear the glassware and all that's what uh, as a student we all think but then it's not completely true uh, if you are actually lucky enough to grab an internship in the top class research in institutes in india like uh, iic bangalore iits and its csri labs or in industries like biocon or lupin you can actually uh, learn a lot and then not in these institutes as well you can when, whenever you do internship anywhere you will actually uh, get to know and get to work with the people who are already experts in that area so you'll get to know that uh, what skills like in which field you are good at and what skills you need to acquire to actually become an expert in that particular area the best part about the internship is that it actually tells you that which field you are interested in when it comes to biotechnology especially there are lot of fields out there like you, you'll be studying lot of uh, subjects starting from plant bi biotechnology animal biotechnology uh, like uh, bioinformatics microbiology molecular biology but then you eventually need to figure out that which field you want to work in uh and uh, if you want to pursue your higher studies in which uh, field you want to do your specialization so internship actually clears out uh, like if you are not sure like if you are interested in two three subjects it just clears out uh, options for you that okay this is not the one i actually want to pursue in future uh during my college i have undergone three internships and completed two projects in um, interdisciplinary area so my projects were related to biopharmaceutical biotechnology molecular biology genetic engineering and nanotechnology so this uh, working in different different uh, areas like uh, it just helped me to build my base strong and made my it made my transition less difficult from being a college student to a working professional uh, basically what does this mean is that when you are a college student uh, when you enter a professional world you need to know how to interact with people uh, what is the requirement of uh, the particular industry or particular uh, course out there so internship just it helps you to build that uh, like inculcate that uh, qualities in like interpersonal qualities in you uh, personally one of my internship in bcg vaccine laboratory gindi chennai uh, into like it helped me and gave me an opportunity to meet experts in my field it gave me an experience that how a vaccine plant works and different departments are involved in manufacturing of a bcg vaccine so i worked as an intern in quality control and quality assurance department and was exposed to production process which is involved in the manufacturing of the vaccine when i was college student during my graduate uh, i learned the importance of a strong resume so when it comes to either you're going for a job or you want to do your higher studies or uh, you want to apply for your next internship as well it is important uh, that uh, like you should have a good resume so internships as i earlier told it adds a value to it people will know that okay this person has a pra uh, practical knowledge Uh, apart from just being knowing theory theory uh, internships also provide you uh, a necessary like it tell you as i told you earlier also it tell you that uh, in which field you want to build your career like 
in which field you want to go ahead and then while applying for internships just remember that whenever like there are different industries and lab uh, departments which provide internship so just go through their uh, particular website and then uh, their departments that and their ongoing projects which they are working on and then try to figure out that uh, whether you are you want to be a part of that particular project or not and uh, yeah it will be a really good opportunity to surround with people by interacting with other professionals around you learn how to communicate and then uh, in especially professional manner and uh, making professional connections could be a beneficial to your career uh, even if you believe it is it isn't then it it is actually because um, it will help you to know uh, interact with them as well as to know their experiences they have been working in this field for maybe years so you'll uh, get to know that okay which field and uh, which field they have worked like what they have gained and where they are and then how eventually they moved in their career it has also teaches you communication skills time management critical thinking etc uh experiences for my internship helped me to you know uh, start my own startup during the pandemic and my faculties from the col- uh, from college and with my few colleagues we have built a startup named marabano which is an initiative to work on various sectors of science and technology for the betterment of human life and to bring a change basically so um, in the end i would like to conclude that uh, by saying to each one of you at least do two to three internships and try to do uh, in the fields which you are interested in as well as some interdisciplinary just don't focus on just microbiology try to add other fields as well and link them together uh, it will help you uh, both professionally and the internship is actually gonna help you personally as well to inculcate interpersonal skills once again i would like to thank each one of you to giving me this opportunity and platform to share my experience and would love to help if anyone has doubts or queries they can contact me on my professional mail id which is uh, sharma nandini underscore cto at the rate marabanu.in so yeah i'll uh, it'll be my it'll be a pleasure to if i can help somebody so thank you so much and i'll move it to the next person the next speaker hi kiran uh, you can start your presentation hello uh, i am my voice is audible to everybody here yes kiran you are audible just go on uh, yeah yeah hi all at the outset i would like to thank all especially dr ramesh sir and dr narendra kumar sir for making me to present in front of the students the one among the whom i was before i am kiran nived i am tech biotech graduate i have a full time job in hcl technologies as a lead engineer regulatory affairs medical devices I also work as a consultant scientist in Xenobiomics and in Trinity. We are involved in two projects, among which one is about probiotics and it is at the patent level, and the other one is siRNA-based biomedical devices. In this talk, I will be sharing my experience with biotechnology and the importance of internships in biotechnology. Let me start with the basic question: like What is biotechnology? In the simplest definition, you can say it is the application of biological molecules or organisms for the welfare of the people and its environment. If we want to travel with the biotech and achieve good growth in it, we need to be strong in theoretical as well as the practical aspects. The theory we can study it from the books, the one taught classes, and the practicals, the practical knowledge we can get it through our uh, projects and internships. 
I'll tell you why this is important with the small experiments. Uh, can anyone can, uh, can open their mic and tell me, uh, can you design an experiment to find whether a bacteria is a leucine oxytroph, that is its dependency on leucine for its growth? Yeah, can anyone tell me? Just a simple experiment. Okay, just I'm going on. So you need to prepare two media plates, one with leucine and the other one without leucine. Let's consider the one plate with leucine is A and the other one is B. Then you need to inoculate both with the bacteria of interest. If a bacteria grows in the plate A and not in the plate B, then that bacteria is, is a leucine oxytroph. You verify this experiment again and you prepare this as a report. Say that this leucine uh, oxytroph is a tuberculosis bacteria. And this report gets published and future it will come as a part of your curriculum. You read that tuberculosis bacteria is a leucine oxytroph in your books. See, this experiment has become a theory now. And from this theory, an other hypothesis will be created and an experiment will be done again. It's a cycle. Without the one, the other cannot be done. So to make you stronger in both aspects, what you need is a transformation. You should be both as a student as well as a pre-employee while you study. You need to transform your book stuffs to the life stuffs. So engaging yourself with the lab practicals and projects are the first things. I did some minor and major projects at Seabird, Satyabama, under the guidance of Dr. Kartik Rajanama Shivari and Dr. Masalama. I have displayed only three papers here, which were published in Ellsbury Journal. In the thought, I learned nanobiotechnology and vaccines, and thus I joined this lab to work in these areas. More things were learned in this as you are independent and you get only assistance, not spoon feeding kind of things from the professors. You need to have a hypothesis, you need to design the product, execute it, interpret the results and report it. These are the steps involved in the projects. While designing the experiment, you will look into raw materials, equipment and instruments, protocol, you need to look for the characterization labs and etc. These searches will give you a chance to improve your decision making skills and improves the confidence level too. Doing projects gives you only affordable idea on how to transform your viable hypothesis into life as you cannot do it in depth due to the financial constraints, you need more investments and other resources. Due to these reasons, Transform the book stuff to the life stuff. Internships are required. Here is where you will become a pre employee. I have done three internships, and among them, I have displayed the two here. The first one is Exnora Green Pummel. The Exnora Green Pummel and Sam Foundation uh, they are running a biomethanation plant at Pummel. The biogas plant has been started in 2009 for generating 50 meter cube of gas per day. And they collect 500 kilograms of waste per day from the shops and the hotels in the Pummel and the real by region. The output of the biogas plant is used for the cooking fuel and for the generation of electricity to light three streets. The, the right one you can see is the large bioreact biogas reactor most of the portions are under the earth. They are very huge, more than 15 foot in length. The left one is the fixed dome biogas reactor. The former is used to produce electricity, while the later is used for producing cooking methane. They gave me the opportunity to learn exactly what is what, how to design a bioreactor. They taught me sales also, like I was involved in a project called Temple Green, where you need to go to Temple and demonstrate them how this fixed dome biogas reactor helped them for cooking. There were many challenges. The temple would give us that this much waste they produce and the other things. We need to calculate its calorifical value, how much uh, large bioreactor we need to uh, buy, we need to build for them. Yeah, a sample I have given below, like what uh, I do there. Uh, like uh, I have uh, done some calorifical value calculation. It's very simple. It's calorific value. It is the amount of the heat produced by burning one gram of biogas. So to find the calorifical value, you need to uh, you need to divide the volume in kg produced by 
total weight of the waste you get from them. This is just a simple, uh, simple things which I have done over there. They'll be giving all the inputs and you have to work it out and you have to design the reactor first in paper and after that in CAD and then you need to you need to present it to the uh, to, uh, to the management of the uh, to the management of the firm where you are doing your internships. And uh, for cooking also, like uh, you need like 150 uh, and 300 liters of biogas per day. Uh, you know, like 25 kg bio biogas can uh, can fill uh, your kitchen in a day. The next one is. Uh, Text Biosciences. It is an enzyme and probiotic manufacturer. See the powder pick here. This is actually the protease powder. We have studied it. What is it? Can you explain what is protease? Can anyone open up their uh, mic and tell me? Yes, students. Can you? Like I'm just stopping here for uh, like 15 seconds. It is an enzyme that is used to break down proteins into amino acids. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly correct. Uh, so you know, like from that, I mean, uh, what is the source of this enzyme? Like proteins. Yeah. The source is actually, uh, there are chemical sources as well as the biological sources. So uh, in India and abroad, most of them are using the biological sources. It is, there are two types of uh, proteases. One is alkaline protease and the other one is acid protease. The acid protease is normally, uh, the source of the acid protease is normally fungal and the source of the uh, alkaline protease is, uh, is baseless. And they are used in the detergent field, uh, like you can see, uh, even uh, you know, like due to this only, your uh, protein-based dirts are going away. And there are like many enzymes they are uh, doing, like amylase, asparaginase, penicillin amylase. These were the enzymes that they were producing. Uh, like here, I was doing a combined internship, like 30 days in R and D and 15 days in quality and regulatory. This is where I come to know that there are different departments apart from production and R and D in the biotech. I have many learnings there. Uh, the main thing which I have learned is like enzyme assay, the purity detection, viable count, spore count, uh, glycerol stock preparation, reactor design, process optimization. And if there are any challenges, then you need to learn from their, your experience and the research experience. So I had a long period, like 30 days. So I had uh, the main thing which I have learned uh, from them is the process optimization. See, one example I will tell, uh, we have uh, in the process optimization study, we have found out the ratio of the transfer. See, this bigger one is like 1000 uh, liter bioreactor, this is the action fermenter, and this smaller one is called the seed fermenter. And before this, we also have a flask, flask fermentation. So what we done is that to make 1000 liters of probiotic, first we need to make 10 liters of media and inoculate uh, 10 power 9 cells per, uh, per ml. And after the growth reaches its log phase, yeah, we measured it using the optical density. Yeah, after reaching its log phase, we need to transfer the 10 liters of the culture to 100 liter media. Once again, the cell undergoes uh, the lag phase and then log phase. So once we, ch we check again the optical density of the of the culture which is growing in the seed tank, and after that this will be transferred to the thousand liter fermenter. So by this way, uh, we have achieved seventy percentage of the yield. It's a major thing. Some real time experience and biotech achievements bliss you get when you go for the interactions. As I said, so uh, when I joined the internship only. I just came to know there are different diff there are departments beyond R and D and production. There are some department called quality assurance that you need to ensure that the, the operations happening at the firm are as per the protocol. There's something called the uh, quality control. Here you need to uh, like do assays to perform assays, and you have to tell whether 
the product which is manufactured from the fermentation is what is intended. For example, if, if you want to produce the proteins of 1000 IU, 1000 international units, then the quality control guys do they perform some experiment and confirms that the protease is 1000 IU or not. Then this comes the regulatory affairs department, the most powerful department. What uh, the regulatory affairs do is that if you want to market this protease powder in Europe, then the Europe government have set up certain laws and rules for marketing them in their country. The Europe uh, has set like more stringent safety and efficacy uh, effic efficacy strategies. As a regulatory person, you need to review the product safety and efficacy pro efficacy of the product. And after that, uh, you have to find something called dossier to the European agency. After doing that, the European agency accepts it, and after that only your product can be sold in Europe. This will take roughly one and a half years. And that is also called production and planning. Production, of course, you know, the planning as the department is based on the marketing side. See, if the marketing places an order of uh, like we need 1000 liters of probiotics uh, in this month, then what the, uh, what the production does is that they will, they will segregate among themselves, they'll put a plan uh, they will put like, so first first week we'll be taking 100 liters of the batch and second week we'll be uh, taking 200 liters of the batch. So like that they will accumulate the 1000 liter batch and then they will sell it to the uh, result to the market. And that's something called the research scale up department. Uh, in the R&D you will be doing all flask experiments, right? So like it will be in the 100 ml scale or maximum it will be in the 10 liter scale. But you want to scale up this 10 liter to the 1000 liter scale. And this is where this department comes into place. So I'll be doing all the scale up projects. Like one example is the uh, process optimization studies and other things we'll be doing. And the other one, you would know like sales, marketing and business development. Yeah, the projects and the internships really matters. You'll apply what you have learned. And uh, it also improves your social skills it also finds your department. For example, see, uh, initially, when I was doing uh, internships at Biotech Biosciences, like I got an opportunity to work at R&D as well as in the quality, as well as in the regulatory affairs. There only I find that my taste is regulatory affairs and I have shifted my department uh, to regulatory affairs. And one thing is the uh, one one thing in the internships is uh, one example. Sorry, one advantage in the internship is that you can work in different fields and you can find which is of your taste. And internships provide your prior work experience. It builds your resume. Uh, you learn and you measure. Once you come to office, like once you are a proper employee, you won't have. You will have time, but it is not as much as that you get in the internships. You can learn while you are at the while you are as an employee, but you cannot measure. So that you are learning and measuring, you can do it only in the internships. The internships provide a base for you to grow and learn. And the other main thing is that acclimatization to the work area. See, this is something like at the college will be sitting for six hours and we will be like doing different kinds of jobs. But when it comes to office, you will be dedicatedly spending eight hours for doing a single job, single kind of work. So that thing you will get uh, in the internships so that you will be acclimated to the work area. So do you have any Q&A as of now? Uh, anybody? No, sir. Uh, you can even take. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you can reach me at kiran at renadium.com. This is my official email ID. If you have any doubt or if you want any help, you can be free to ask. Yeah, uh, Kiran, I think yeah, uh, now we I'm have... handing. The Hello, uh, sorry to interrupt you, Kiran. Uh, we have yeah, few yeah, questions yeah. in Q&A form. Yeah. 
so you can just answer a few questions oh, okay so basically students yeah, are asking yeah, what, what are the scope in uh, industrial biotechnology yes uh, industrial biotechnology if you study you can work in fermentation process you can work in even wine industry you can work in uh, biosimilars industry that is biopharmaceutical industry so these are all the industrial biotechnology process job Uh, the options open to work in cosmetics uh, biopharmaceuticals and as well as in the brewing industries okay yeah, uh, next, i hope uh, that's it yeah. yeah 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 next question and now uh, that is a pandemic time and being a biotech student we are expected to have hands on training for better quality certification so how can we do internship being at home during this pandemic so uh, basically yeah, yeah like, uh, there are many yeah just go on okay. yeah yeah you can explain uh, himanshu yeah so uh, basically because of the pandemic uh, majorly students are doing uh, work from home internship it's completely online and um, i'll come to it in the end of the session so you will get the idea about it okay so next question is what would be the recommended time or period to do internship in biotechnology okay then you can answer this question uh, it's yeah yeah it's uh, it's completely up to you but what we recommend is like at least 20 days so 20 days if you like work in a department you'll get an idea what to do and you will like, get acclimatized to that area and you will find uh, your taste of your department Okay. Yeah, next uh, one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Next question is: Is internship important for first year students since we have just been introduced to the subjects? Yeah. Uh, uh, I started doing my projects at uh, yeah from this from my second year. The first year, uh, you can you can warm up like what and all you have studied, and uh, just focus. You can focus on which area you want to do your internships and your projects. so from the second year you can start your internships this is a recommendation from my side hey bro i have a doubt yeah next yeah hey bro is uh, for after completing a ug here uh, for uh, doing a pg mm. or ms in uh, abroad countries uh, which is a preferred uh, space like europe which kind of yes, courses yes europe is much preferred europe is so uh, see one thing yeah europe is like you can take it and one more thing is that like uh, see you will be doing engineering here but in the europe you can will get ms it is actually it goes again to the life science so you need to choose the course accordingly you need to choose like ms in engineering uh, that's what in, uh, in europe and if you go to us you can choose uh, ms msc in engineering that is also there ireland is a good place for you to do uh, your uh, masters Uh, and apart from ireland you can do it in uh, germany uh, this is this is as concern uh, to you and you can in us you can do it anywhere and you can also try apply in south korea it's also a good place as of now thank you bro okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah kiran you can stop presenting like i'll start presenting on my screen Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can you able to see my screen? Kiran, can you please confirm? Like, uh, can you able to see my screen? or anybody please uh, no 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 you are not yeah. able to see us yes uh, you can right uh, no. Yeah. no yeah so uh, thank you so much uh, nandini and kiran uh, for enlightening the student about biotechnology and internship in biotechnology so yeah hi guys uh, so i am excuse me uh, sorry to interrupt uh, we are not able to see your screen okay yeah
Yeah, yeah uh, no. I think now, now, yeah. now it's visible, right? Uh, yeah. So, um, hi everyone. Uh, I am Himanshu Chaudhary, co-founder camp, uh, co-founder at Campus Prida and operations manager at Whitehead Junior. And it's been three plus year. I am working with uh, at tech industry. So basically, I am here to talk about internship opportunities and placement training. So just start away like uh, with the resume. So resume is the most important thing. Basically, uh, it is your first impression. It represent who you are, and. Uh, uh, basically like for a uh, like for different companies you have to go with the different resume because they have some kind of criteria to uh, like select your resume uh, they have some software so you have to put some keywords in your resume for example if you are uh, applying for some particular job profile so you have to write something related to that job profile then only your resume gets selected and projects matters so do Uh, as many projects as you can in your college days uh, because as a fresher that matters so this is a sample of a resume uh, you can make make a resume like this and after this session i like i'll be sending this uh, sample to you all and this is a sample like you can add your keywords related to your job description okay so before interview keep your skills up to date and practice a lot give mock interviews with your friends uh, because it will help you uh, with your real time interviews and experience always teaches you so that is the best way to crack the interview and internships also matters already uh, nandini and kiran already told you about what is the importance of the internship so i like, i don't want to go in detail about it. it so basically you will get the experience and you will get the industrial exposure and there are chances for you to get the pre placement offer and it will validate your skills as well and it's it's a very 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 strong point on your resume and yeah so just do internship as many internships as you can do so uh, just uh, let's play a game like cricket okay so uh, basically in cricket you have seen that uh, for some particular team you have to play with some tactical things and there is some kind of like uh, what we can say uh, like there are different tactics tactics for the different teams right so uh, some tricks will work against australia some tricks uh, will not work with other teams right so you have to go with the same approach while choosing your companies uh, because different companies have different kind of technology and as per that they will uh, recruit you so you just have to know what is your best best shot you have to go with that and you can crack your interviews so yeah so as of now like if you have any questions related to resume or uh, like related to interviews you can ask i want like a two way communication you can speak up anything like you can ask anything okay uh so we'll go ahead uh, with the next slide so uh i think you uh might have uh, heard about sherlock so just be like that play tactical interview is more of mind game than skill showing game don't chase one company uh, you should have to apply on different companies just don't be focus on one interview because uh, if you will give as many interviews as you can it will give you a lot of experience and it's easy for you to crack the interviews and experience always teaches you uh, and you have nothing to lose uh, right and uh, you you have to research the company before giving the interview and there are different platforms are there uh, just read uh, answers on quora and there are uh, many different platforms like uh, geeks for geeks just go through all that platforms uh, in that platforms you will find the company's detail what they are asking in the interviews so it will help you in your final interview and you can crack the interview very easily it's 
not like that you always go without any preparation and just give the interview okay uh, so next thing is uh, learn to express what and how you say really matters so your communication skills really matters uh if you have a good attitude uh, it will shadow your mistake and always like uh, uh, there are different kind of questions uh, being asked in the interview and you can't able to answer answers all the questions but if you have uh, different skills and you are good at it then definitely it will shadow your mistake and whatever you have not answered right and be calm and don't argue with the interviewer and always stay positive uh, and it's not like a life and death situation it's just an interview so be confident about it and uh, so basically for uh, this interview thing we have personal interview preparation course so i'll introduce that thing also in the end of uh, the presentation so yeah and always after the interview ask interviewer about the feedback because you should know what exactly like in which area you are lacking behind that is the important thing right and and uh, basically like uh, sometimes uh, you feel that your interview uh, wasn't uh, went well right so you can ask the interviewer like when can you apply again so basically uh, this will give us sense of uh, like kind of interest from your side to the company right and learn from mistakes so always track whatever mistake you have done in your last interviews just track it and just uh, sharpen it right and don't settle always apply outside your campus interviews so maybe like your uh, uh, campus interviews are going to start so don't focus on only campus interviews there is a uh, lot of companies uh, which are looking for the uh, good candidates and you can apply through a lot of different platforms like uh, nokri and uh, there is a an angelis or inspire so you can just go through that and you can apply from that right and uh, maybe like you people feel that off campus uh, like getting a placement off campus it's kind of a difficult thing uh, no like yeah basically it's a tough for pressure but there is a lot of companies who are looking for the students a better student so uh, you can apply in many companies so basically if you will go with nokri.com you just have to make your profile and make it up to date and i think you have uh, around 40 applies in a day so without wasting your time just uh, apply in all the companies so that it will uh, give kind of boost to your profile and your profile will show to all the recruiters so this is how the offline uh, applying will work and it's easy for you to uh, like get the off campus job right so uh, becomes easy with the internship uh, just go find uh, internships and you can always convert your internship in pre pre placement offers uh, and your personal and linkedin network will help for off campus so uh, i don't know whether you guys are on linkedin or not uh, if you are not just uh, go and make linkedin profile and it will help you to connect with different networks you can just talk to the employee of a different company and ask them to put a referral for you and it will help you to get a job and now let's come to like corona how things got changed because of corona so basically in the market there are less opportunities most companies are not hiring uh, they are uh, like firing even their experienced employee so the chances are less limited numbers of uh, companies in college right and so there are some challenges as compared to the normal days pre corona days right so basically you have to put some extra efforts from your side and for that you have to uh, do as many internships as you can do projects and uh, just just on skills like whatever you can in your free time 
so uh, solutions to this problems basically you can up skills as i have told you so you can do any courses uh, which, which is like uh, uh, important for you or maybe like whatever you are going to learn it will help you in future and you can ask for a referral through linkedin network or maybe uh, your friend or in maybe in your community someone is there who is working so you can just ask for the re referral as well and get industry exposure uh, you will get the industry exposure through internships do internships uh, a lot of companies are hiring for uh, interns and basically like it's online internships so at least you will get some experience from that as well right so talk to people from your industry so this is the important point like as uh, today here with us nandini and kiran so you can ask any questions related to biotechnology because they are the right person who guide you related to biotechnology right and there are some myth okay so uh, basically basically there are some myth so first one is college matters a lot so as my personal experience guys like yeah it matters for freshers but after that uh, actually like i'll be honest about this it doesn't even matter after that so you just have to get your first job and few people are like uh, have too much concern about like uh, startups are risky you don't have to join the startup but seriously startups are the ones where you will get lot of experience and in the initial days you have to get the experience okay uh, so no use to prepare for interview before final year no you should have to start preparing for interview from your first year only so just uh, because uh, ultimate thing for a student to crack the interview for a fresher is uh, they should know the placement process how placement process work what are the rounds are there and how you can prepare for that uh, just go uh, and do as many internships as you can and do projects so basically you have to start preparing for the interview from your first year a high paying jobs are only reserved for cs engineers no it's like completely wrong statement uh, there are like lot of other domains are there in the industry uh, where you can get the high paying jobs so you don't have to think always like only the cs engineers will get uh, like high pay right and most qualified will get the job so maybe among you a uh, few people are there uh, who got around like 9 cgp or more than that and few are having 6 cgp you don't have to worry about that because uh, cgp is the first cri criteria of the company on which they are uh, selecting for the interview and after that that does not even matter after that your skills matters what you have done before and what is your experiences so just uh, keep this thing in mind uh, soft skills don't matter no it actually matters uh, uh, like uh, if let's take an example like in your college uh, how many students are there in a particular domain Uh, because like i don't know like uh, as i am from vit university so in my branch around 800 students were there so out of 800 students it's very difficult for a company to choose the right candidates right so basically for that they used to conduct soft skills exam initially so you have to crack that uh, particular round and after that only you can go for the interview so it actually matters because the population is too much too much competition is there in the market so you have to sharpen your soft skills as well so now let's come to the campus veda so what is campus veda and what we are doing here so basically campus veda is a platform uh, where we are just bridging the gap between the industry and the students 
uh, because we feel that there is a lot of gap and it's very difficult for the student to reach to the company so we have started uh, campus veda since our college days so ultimately the idea behind is to give the internships to each and every students because uh, for us also it was very difficult to find the internship at that time so we thought like we can come up with some idea and we can give internship in different companies and different domains to the students and internships are the very important thing to know about the industry to get some experience so uh, basically we started this campus beta and we are giving the right solutions to the students and uh, which is actually needed for the students that is the assured internship and placement training courses so uh, basically between the student and the industry there is a monster like there is a gap uh, we can say so we are just reducing that gap uh, through campus beta So yeah, as you can see in my slide. Uh, so this is how you can get a job. Like uh, as I have told you, we are focusing on the right thing, which is actually needed for the student. So yeah. So uh, good news. Like uh, basically, we used to conduct uh, live webinars. That is for like free of cost. You can attend these webinars, and uh, you can make your network with. our trainers and you can get the referrals and basically we have our product call assured internship and placement training program you can register for that product as well and you can get the assured internship in biotechnology and our prices has been selected exclusively for satyabhama university and if you don't get internship after completion of your course we will refund your amount that is our policy and Uh, a student will get job uh, referrals at big mncs and startup as you will connect with our mentors and you will get to know about lot of uh, things related to placement process and all so you can make your connections and networking opportunities as i have told you so you just need to fill the google form i think kiran has already shared the google form in the chat box uh, you can just fill that google form uh and that will be needed for your certificate as well uh, for this webinar and we urge that each and every student should take advantage of this opportunity so yeah so q and a session guys like uh, you can ask anything related to internship anything related to interview or anything like whatever is there in your mind any language is fine for me or you can write in the chat box as well nice sir actually i have a doubt uh yes gopal go on yes, sir uh, actually being a biotech student uh, my imagination is that uh, we don't need to uh, prefer for python c++ java these kind of skills that uh, we don't need i i was thinking like that is it true or uh, false uh basically i think uh, kiran is the right person to answer this question uh yes sir uh, yes yes sir. yes yeah i'm here see basically gokul uh, yeah it, it's it is necessary for you to learn uh, learn python because now the world is changing all the world, what we are going to do is the designing Uh, so it, there is something called the drug discovery uh, drug discovery department the you will be like do a literature research and then you design it for the designing part you need to know the language python ruby and uh, such languages are there so it is like you need to do you need to acquaint with these things that's why you study like computer science uh, uh, computer science subjects in your uh, curriculum you need to be well i mean if you if you are learning the uh you know uh, this thing languages it will be an additional help for you and even like you need to know sap that is also a very uh, sas sorry sas that is also a very uh, important thing and there are many biotechnologists even the alumni of uh, satyabama university is working in usa for the clinical sas in, in clinical sas department 
Okay. So, so actually, then uh, BioPython. Uh, I've seen something called BioPython. So instead of Python, can you opt for BioPython? Yeah, yeah. You can. You can. Uh, you can see BioPython is nothing but like the Python language is like uh, it, it is. It is the same. It's one and the same. The application what it, it will be like core to the biotech. That's it. So what you know? Uh, what you need to learn is the language. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, so uh, I think Mani Teja has asked what kind of extracurricular activities, excluding internship, will show influence on placement. So uh, basically, for this, uh, I think you are uh, you have some college club chapters uh, in your college, right? So you can just join the society and you can earn uh, some experience from there. Uh, basically, uh, you will get the management experience and it will help you in future. That is for sure. so just start doing that and there is a lot of different platforms where you can go and do courses uh and the general skills always matters like you should know the basic things the like uh, powerpoint presentation and excel so just do this in your free time excuse me uh, good morning sir Uh, yeah, I'll just go one by one. Uh, Sanjay, yeah, you can speak. Ah, Mohan sir, this question is for Kiran sir, especially. Uh, yeah, Kiran sir, you told that. Uh, yeah. Uh, you you do internships on your favorites at uh, like uh, designation, like you have uh, been interested in microbiology, do internship in microbiology. But uh, I have got inter mm. like uh, interested in marine ecology stuffs, but I can't find any marine mm. uh, internships in. But uh, what to do? Or is there any solution? Is there? Mm, yeah the actually the department i mean uh, marine ecology is uh, like it's very small stream i mean in india so like we need to like search for the companies and then only we can uh, we should apply so uh, yeah it it is not lots of searching uh, yeah but uh, we will just uh, we we'll just talk this in a separate session like i will give you a separate session on this and how to search and how to search companies and other things Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. So I just want to add something in this uh, answer. So basically, mm -hmm. if you want to search for some particular domain and particular company, just go on LinkedIn and just make the connection uh, with the uh, particular people who are working in that particular company, or maybe like particular domain, and you can connect with that people and you can ask for a referral, and this is how like you can get the internship. Excuse me. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, hi, Amrit. Hi. Uh, actually, I wanted to ask. Like, it's always said that biotechnology is a emerging stream in India, and it's it has more scope abroad. And moreover, it's always said like we you have to it's necessary to go for higher studies for good placement in biotech. Is it is it like so? Yeah, I think Kiran is also planning for this, so Kiran can answer this question. Yeah. Uh, hi, Amrit. Uh, thing is that so whatever you do here, I mean whatever you did in the B Tech, you you should be in a position to apply. So if you are strong in your theoretical as well as the practical knowledge, then there is uh, it is not. I'm not saying that it is completely not necessary to apply for the uh, for your masters, uh, but it is not really necessary. you can uh, you can get internships in biocon and other things get uh, trained on those subjects and they will uh, you know they themselves will recruit you after that uh, it's like i have seen persons like even my i mean again there is uh, satyabha malavinai uh, like on venkat raman he has completed his btech and did his internship absorbed in that company and later after working for one year he started in his uh, tech and now he is doing phd in uh, a phd in south korea so like uh, this opportunities will be different it is not like it is mandatory for you to do your mtech but if you do it will help uh, but doing it after like one or one or two years of experience it is it gives you more value and at the starting it depends on the company the salary will be like different from 4 lakhs to 5 lakhs at the starting it depends on the company to company so if you take like biocon you will be placed for 4.5 lakhs if it's going to be for pfizer you will be placed for 5 lakhs so it's it depends on that 
and how to get uh, internships in that company in biocon like main uh, mainstream biotech companies uh yeah uh, for bio for biocon there is like a separate uh, team for them like internship absorption uh, i think uh, nandini has tried it uh, randy can you explain it uh yeah so basically uh, one thing there are two ways to get internship in biocon one is like they are having a portal on their web like on their main uh, company website uh, where you can apply and you can just uh, send them your resume and which domain you want to do internship like which department you want to do internship in and second is uh, like you can build linkedin connections and uh, like to the employees who are working over there and that is like employee referral so there are two ways like either the team will select you from the uh, when you apply on the website or you build the connections to people who are already working there and they'll refer you they'll refer your resume for your internship in a particular department so what so, is the minimum requirement for internships in uh, these companies yeah so minimum requirement is uh, mostly they'll take like uh, third year or fourth year students mostly like uh and then uh, when it comes to like uh, internships especially uh, it like uh, for a third year or second year they'll give you like one month or two months but then uh, for fourth year students once you complete your fourth year uh, they'll give you a six months internship so it will be like uh, they'll actually you will be involved in the work like in that one month and two months internship you'll be just knowing the work like you can just observe it but in the six months uh, training which you're going to get after your fourth year it'll be more like you're working there kind of so and and one more question last one uh, like um, in many company many multinational companies like they, they recruit uh, students from india and then they uh, sponsor their higher studies abroad like the company only sponsors them and plus the company also offers them job so is that also a case in biotech because i've heard this in csc i don't know about biotech uh, yes uh, yes um, yeah it is completely that they are doing it pfizer gsk and all is doing it. pfizer gsk no what is those kind of companies are doing that's completely true. thank you okay uh, sir i have a doubt if you don't mind yes yes diksha go on yeah. uh sir so my uh, doubt is more uh, regarding internships based on dry lab work instead of doing wet lab research dry lab so what exactly can be expected like what exactly will be uh, will we as students be required to do um in an internship uh, which involves dry lab work like something involving bioinformatics or something like that yeah uh, one minute there, there are many uh, bioinfo companies that you can uh, put uh, your resume to, to to go for the internships like uh, epigraph systems uh, big tech bioimage in india private limited and bioinformatics institute of india these the things like they offer you like uh, the dry labs and also even in example like i was been working in a uh, first company in a biomethanation plant so in that like 15 days i will be like i did 30 days of internships over there in that 15 days i'll be working from home and 15 days like i have to go for the six so in that 15 days what they give you is like uh, uh, they they will ask you to uh, do literature mining analysis and sorting out and they will ask you to design uh, the reactor they will ask you like they will give the inputs like this is the kg of waste we are getting and uh, this is the calorific value we need and what will be the pressure needed for uh, this particular gas to travel from this travel to this much distance so for example uh, like in the temple like it has to go uh, the, the reactor will be in one place and the actual kitchen will be in the other place there will be difference like 300 meters so what we have to do? even there are like 400 meters difference so we'll go for that nrb wall so like those kind of designing work will be given to you so you'll be like always when you're working uh, when you're doing online internships like 3 uh, hours you need to spend with your uh, laptop and the internet so they will give you all those things of work and they will also like the research writing works also will be given to you and uh, each company you know like r and d's and all they'll be applying for the uh, various funds example dbd funds biorack funds and other things 
you will also be given a chance to write uh, for the funds so those kind of things they will be giving you and uh, they'll be like, like asking you to uh, write their sops the standard operating procedures for they want so these kind of things you can get it okay so thank you so much yeah hello sir okay. yeah rashmika um sir yeah. uh, you told about the uh, campus with a will be offering many trainings and they will be doing webinars about the internships and we will be talking about uh, the basic requirements for an interview right so right. where do we know to get to know the details for that uh yeah so uh, basically uh, once you will fill the feedback form if you will apply it, for the internship like there is a question in the feedback form are you looking like are you want uh, an internship or not uh, so basically if you will answer that question then according to that we will be sending a mail to you all so you will be getting all the details regarding the internship so basically uh, like we have collaboration with few uh, biotechnology companies uh and we have already provided a lot of internship in that so you can also apply for the same if you want so you will get and, the details through yeah sure sir. and one more doubt uh, i'll be asking i want to ask the student sir sir so yes. you told that um we can do ims in germany and ireland what do you uh, tell hmm. about canada what is your suggestion on canada Mm, Canada, it's uh, like if you are doing a PhD there, then it's fine. MS will be very much costly over there. The first thing is that, and you also have something called integrated programs. It's MS and PhD. You can do it over there. But okay. the number of companies, uh, if you see that it is very much less. Uh, okay. They are like much into like plant biotechnology field. So okay. uh, like if you are like interested in that, you can do it. uh what if if i want to do my ms in microbiology same to ms yes mm yeah the, but ms microbiology will be a core life science again uh, but okay. what you are studying it's engineering only right yeah uh, uh, it will be a different stream for you like you will be like uh, yeah but you can learn it but thing is that you will have to uh, put more time on things to do it so better you do some engineering uh, is ms engineering kind of thing that you can get in uh, ireland okay and uh, what about oh, the language molecular biology okay what about the language requirements i mean like uh, people say that for getting into germany i need to know german and for canada i need to know french is that a myth or it is actually true for germany you need to know germany that's right but you can also learn it like uh, you have to like uh, finish your finish your prelims on that and after that for the advanced level you can learn from the universities itself uh, the second thing is in canada if you know english that it is fine you don't like it is not necessarily that you need to know uh, uh, you need to know french unless you apply uh, in the french uh, counties or the french states so yeah thank you thank you Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. So people are asking, uh, due to this pandemic, internships are only available in online. It is valuable to do internship online mode. Yeah. Obviously, like uh, this is the only opportunity you have as of now. And if the employees are working, like they are doing work from home, so definitely, like uh, the students are also doing. Uh, internship work from home. So obviously, like whatever you are getting, just go get it. uh get some experience from it it will help you for sure so yeah any more questions guys like if you have any questions you can ask and please do fill the feedback form which is uh, which i shared by, by kiran uh that will be needed for your e certificate please fill that form So, if you have any questions, you can ask, or we can wrap up. Okay, so I think uh, we have done with our Q and A session. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for attending this session.
and you can find me at himanshu.chaudhary at whiteheadjunior.com uh, or you can contact me through this number so uh, it's a like saturday already like holiday for you guys and you guys are here thank you so much for that now i would like to call uh, someone from bioni to give word of thanks so i am sabita you are to present word of thanks so we have reached the end of a webinar today i take opportunity to to put my gratitude into words on behalf of management bioni and the indian institute of engineering i would like to extend my thanks to our guest speakers mr kiran nade ms nandin sharma and mr manju chow for present in this webinar thank you sir and ma'am for enlightening us with your wonderful and interesting topic this will help us in our future studies okay uh, thank you so much uh, bayon sure. you know uh, yeah one minute sir so i'm shwati and i'm here to present my vote of thanks um I'd like to thank all the speakers who have given such a wonderful speech and for making this webinar a uh, very informative. I'd like to thank Honorable Colonel Dr. J. P. Asa, our patron, our Chancellor Dr. Maria Zina Johnson, ma'am, our President Dr. Mary Johnson, sir, our Vice President Ms. Maria Bonded Samler B. Johnson, ma'am, our Vice Chancellor Dr. T. Sachi Prabha, ma'am, our Pro Vice Chancellor Dr. Lokeshan Mukum, sir, and also Dr. Wilson Arni, sir. I'd like to thank our Controller of Examinations. Dr. Igbi Sabasti Prabhu Sir, our Director of Research Dr. B. Sheila Rani Maan, and our Director of Administration Dr. G. Sundari Maan. I'd like to thank our IA Coordinator Dr. S. Kathikeen Sir, our HOD Dr. V. Ramesh Kumar Sir, and our Assistant Professor Mr. G. Narendra Kumar Sir, Department of Biotechnology, for organizing such a wonderful webinar. Lastly, I'd like to thank all the participants who are present here and for giving their attention throughout the session. I hope this webinar will have given an insightful information on the patterns of internship and biotechnology. Once again, thank you all for your cooperation. Uh, thank, thank you so you. much, Sarthi. Uh, so I hope everyone has learned something from this webinar. And yeah, we are open after this webinar. Also, you can contact uh, us on our website. And for applying for biotechnology internship, you will be getting a mail. You can apply on through Campus Veda. Uh, we have a lot of companies in collaboration with us. And thank you so much, uh, everyone, for joining this webinar. And I would also like to thank Department of Biotechnology, Satyabhama Institute of Science and Technology, and all the joinees. And a special thanks for arranging the webinar to BioNo and the Indian Institute of Engineering. So thank you so much, guys, for joining this webinar. And you can contact us anytime. You have the mail IDs, and you can contact through our website as well. And please do fill the feedback form which has shared by Kiran in the chat box. Uh, that will be needed for your e certificate. Uh, so thank you so much, guys, for joining the webinar. And we can wrap up. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, thank you everyone for attending this webinar. Like, yeah, as we, as uh, Himanshu has said, like uh, we are even open after this webinar. You can always uh, reach us. Uh, you have the email ID of us, like Himanshu dot Shauri at White Hat Junior, Kiran at Renaria dot com, Sharma underscore uh, Nandini underscore Sharma at uh, Marabanu dot in. So you can. Uh, you can you can do it or you can also uh, contact us through uh, the college thank you all uh, thanks narain sir thanks uh, ramesh sir for giving us the opportunity so yeah uh, here we end our session yeah. thank you so much uh, guys stay home stay safe and take care thank you so much thank you thank you sir you too stay safe sir yeah 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 bye thanks